Now, the moment Tableau finds a script function in the calculated field, it will know that whatever follow is followed by the script function, whatever follows, is nothing but an R script. This is an R script. Okay, whatever follows the script function in double quotation is an R script, and Tableau will not parse through it. Tableau will not read it. Tableau will not interpret it or understand it. It will not even look at it. Okay, even if I put A B C D there, Tableau will still tell me that the calculation is valid. Like if if I leave it blank. Even then, Tableau will tell me that the calculation is valid because the moment it finds the script function, it knows that whatever you write followed by the script function in quotations is R script. Okay, Tableau has nothing to do with it, so it will not even look at what you have written there. You can leave it blank, you can put some junk data in it, or you can give the correct formula. It does not care what you have written there. Okay, but outside the script function, if you change something, then Tableau will prompt you with an error. it will say that okay there is some syntax error so now that we have made this change how do we use it on the screen or how do we use it on the canvas simply however you want to use it let us say i want to color code the data points which are uh, uh, outliers in a different color so when i get the result it will be either an outlier the data point will either be an outlier or it will be a normal data point okay data point so i want to let us say distinguish between the normal data point and the outliers with color then i will bring my outlier calculated field to the color shell so once i do that tableau will is now like passing the it will it will pass this data average flow cfs to r r will work upon that data and he will give some result back to tableau in tableau we will be able to notice the change happening on the visualization based on the result that we get because we have outlier on the color shell tableau has color coded the result so outliers are in orange there is only one outlier here and the rest of the data points okay or normal data points are all in blue so everything is done tableau has passed the data to r r has applied mv outlier logic to it and it has given the result back to tableau tableau has also shown us the result in a visual format because we have that field on the color shell which is it has color coded the data points now let us say i want to change the level of detail to month simply i will do a drop down and select month i'll make it continuous month so that we have all the data so again you don't have to redo the process what is tableau going to pass now whatever is there on the chart granularity uh, level of detail is always the level of detail on the chart in tableau even for calling uh, external applications so if i am looking at the average flow cfs at month level of detail tableau will pass this data now average flow CS, cfs per month all these data points tableau is going to pass to r r will work on this new data and it has shown us the result it is saying these are the out data points which are outliers there are so many outliers when you go to month level of detail okay now here we know that there is one note field which is segregates the data into different categories right a normal flow and human uh, intervention then if i take that to the shelf let us say so i'm basically segregating my data points into two or maybe i'll keep it here i'm segregating my data points into two columns this is normal flow and this is affected by regulation or diversion so once i do this you can see all the data points which were outliers that we saw on the previous screen without note field basically all the outliers are from normal flow category itself we don't have any outliers on affected by regulation if we take the entire table data into account if we take the entire table data into account meaning if we take all the data points into account all the outliers are here on normal flow now let us say i want to take only this data into account and identify the outliers here then i want to pass this data separately and identify the outliers here okay i want tableau to take this chunk of data and determine the outliers then take this data and see when you look at only these data points maybe there will be certain outliers right so treat this to this information for normal flow separately and treat information which is affected by regulation separately and give me the outliers upon this data and outliers upon this data okay then how do we do it simple in tableau you just have to change the direction in which the calculation is getting applied by default it is table across it's taking the entire table data so obviously there will not be any outliers here because very high values are outliers but once i change this computation if i say instead of table across compute using pane across then it will take each pane data into account and then look at the outliers so if i take only this pane data these are the outliers if i take only this pane data then these two are the outliers okay so the rest of the steps that we perform in tableau what we will be do with that result how, that is that will all be the same 
what will be the granularity on the data you can change the granularity by adding more and more dimensions or you can make it more aggregated by removing the uh, dimensions you can change the direction in which the calculation is getting applied all this will remain the same the concepts that are involved with calculated fees all the other concepts will hold good in Tableau okay so we have seen one example on how to integrate Tableau with Al. I'll show you one more example there is one data set called as Fisher Cyrus data set that we have that's all I'm passing average flow CFS which is there on my screen as input and I'm asking uh, R to apply MV outlier code on it so by applying this code it is telling me that these data points are outliers and these data points are not outliers I'm not hard coding any number and saying that okay greater than 4000 is an outlier or greater than 3000 is an outlier they have given us daily discharge text file with this data and they say tell me if there are any outliers in this data assume that is the requirement so what will come to our mind first is the only chart in tableau which will support or which will tell us if there are any outliers in the data is box and whisker plot box and whisker plot when we create if we have any data points which are not connected by the box or not on the whisker then it, it means it is an outlier right so we will create box and whisker. So from Tableau's perspective, whenever I receive a requirement saying come up with outliers, they will not set, give any condition. They'll say, see if there are any outliers. Then the only chart that will help me in Tableau is box and whisker. I can create a box and whisker plot, but the client may or may not like it. They may say this is very, very complex to read. How do I understand it? How do I read this? So they will, let us say the client does not prefer box and whisker. Then I'll have to tell them that, okay, if you don't want it based on a statistical concept, then you tell me which data point should I call an outlier. You give me some condition. Okay, we will ask them. So maybe if the if the data is greater than 4000, shall I call it an outlier? Or if the data is greater than 3000, shall I call it an outlier? Greater than 2000, will it be an outlier? Or greater than 5000, will it be an outlier? If they are able to give us that condition saying, okay, if you find any average flow CFS point, which is greater than 5000, then we will treat that as outlier and make that in a different color. Then we can write a calculated field in Tableau. We will simply write our normal calculated field logic. We will say, uh, let us say we will we can say if the average flow CFS is greater than 5000, then we can call it an outlier. Else we can say it is a, else we can say it is a normal data point and n. So this I can do. I can come up. Now this is hard coded 5000. So I can also create a parameter and make it parameterized. What you're saying is correct. We can accomplish this in Tableau itself by making use of normal calculated fields also. But if if, if they want it based on some statistical concept uh, like box and whisker, if, if, if the data is greater than 1.5 times the interquartile range, then we call that data point is an outlier, right? So like that, if they want something, then the only resort would be to use MV outlier target. So same chart I will create now. Let's say I will also change the aggregation to, uh, I'll change it to month level of detail. Now if I bring my calculated field color here, then all the data points greater than 5000, so are outliers. Below 5000 are normal data points. Why only these four outliers? Because that is how I developed the formula. I said if the average flow CFS is greater than 5000, then call it an outlier. Another thing I can do is to the, uh, instead of hard coding the number 5000, I can make it parameterized. I can create a parameter, allow a range of values. Then I'll show the parameter control depending on uh, how the end user wants to set up the value. They can set it up. If they make it at 4000, then these also will turn orange in color. Correct. So we can accomplish it using, uh, definitely I will agree with your point. We can do it in Tableau itself. But if at all the client has any specific requirement like use MV outlier package and all, then how do we do it is by making it integrate with that. So here I will go in use that outlier instead of hard coding we can say what was the name uh, the current value was 3000 so here it is showing us all these data points in orange it is display the outlier display the so 3000 i see if i set up 3000 as the cutoff value then we have so many outliers okay if i increase it let us say to 6500 no outlier if i make it 6000 or 5500 i have three outliers if i make it 4000 then so many outliers so like this depending on the cutoff value that we set up if it goes beyond that we can say it is an outlier below that we can say is a normal data point we can accomplish it using either we create a box and whisker plot if the client does not like a box and whisker plot we can create a dot plot like this 
and we can set up some condition parameterized condition saying that if it goes beyond so and so value it will it should be called an outlier if it is below that value then it is not an outlier that is one way of uh, accomplishing that requirement or instead of all this if the client says do it based on some statistical concept like box and whisker will give us the data points greater than one beyond 1.5 times the interquartile range are outliers so give me something like that don't uh, make it parameterized or don't do it based on a hard coded value then the other resort we have the other option we have is to simply make you call r call r make use of mv outlier package present in r and then that package will decide the code written in that package is going to decide whether or not a data point has to be treated as an outlier okay so very rarely used as i told you most of the things we can accomplish in tableau itself by using some other technique or some other method now here if i bring note field on this chart that we have created definitely we will not get an outlier here even though i change the direction of the computation let us say just coming up with outliers here this this one right you cannot even change the direction so because it's taking entire table data into account by default so given this calculation given the way we are applying the uh, uh, logic and all it's not possible to even segregate the data but here because it's a calculation which we are calling r and all we will able to perform it pane across and get this output as well so these are the scenarios where we go for r very rarely used as i told you some using some work around or the other we can accomplish it in tableau itself hardly ever used integrating with r